Hey everybody, welcome at Pomford. Today we want to take a look at the essentials that you need to know when working with Silverstack for the first time. Silverstack is a media asset management software in use on film sets worldwide. It helps you to manage, organize and work with all digital assets of a film production. So first of all, let's look at the three sections that we prepared to guide you through this video. The first part will teach you how to actually execute an offload and like this register clips in the library. Once clips are registered you have a lot of options for working with them and we'll take a look at this in the second part. Last but not least, the third part is all about making your information available to others. Your work in Silverstack starts as soon as the first camera mag comes in from the camera and you want to copy it to your storage. Now you see the Silverstack user interface on the first startup with an empty project. First create a new project at the top center using the project chooser, so you can organize all assets in one project. You can fill in some general information about the project in the project overview if you like. You can make use of it later on. When starting the offload, Silverstack scans the card and automatically detects the video clip format and other important information. For a successful metadata readout, it is absolutely crucial that the right format gets detected. Usually this is done automatically, but you can always adjust it manually. To configure the secure copy of the card to multiple destination drives, add those destinations in the next step. By default, the folder structure of the card is preserved on the destination. Using the path wildcards, you can build the path on the destination volume with metadata from the clips you are offloading and from the library. Different wildcard tokens are available and you can drag them to your path. You can combine the dynamic wildcard tokens with fixed elements. In the destination volumes, you can copy destination paths easily between destinations. You can enable cascading copy, which helps you free your camera card faster. Cascading copy automates an initial copy to a fast destination in the first run and from there to a slower drive in the second run. Select the intended checksum method, in this case as we enabled cascading copy it's separate for the first and the second run and start the offload. Multiple things happen automatically after starting the offload, so let's now go back and slow it down a bit. Silverstack registers the clips of the card and makes them available in a bin in the library. It extracts clip metadata and creates a thumbnail for each clip. Then the copy job starts and the progress is shown at the bottom center of the main window. You can monitor all the details of the copy job in the jobs panel. The offload we started now runs in the background while Silverstack remains fully usable. Once single files are copied, you can get more information about the multiple locations of a selected clip in the Files tab. It helps you with all existing resources of a file. To now work with a project that already has more assets in the library, I want to introduce you to the Silverstack sample library. Via the Help menu, you can download a sample project directly to the app. You can create folders and move bins around manually to structure the library. A bin usually holds all the clips of one camera card. Your selection in the library determines which clips are displayed. You can choose between two different views, a collection view and a list view. In the view menu, you can switch to also reveal all additionally registered files that are not video clips. Adjusting the metadata table is quite flexible. You can add specific metadata and then save your custom layout. You can edit specific metadata directly in the table. It is also possible to adjust the metadata of multiple clips simultaneously. You can do this in the popover that is shown in the right bar general info tab. To play back clips, open the player. You can use industry standard JKL controls for navigating the timeline. Lock important comments or also slate information in the quality check tab on the right. After you work with the clips, it's time to explore how you can make your structured information available for others. 
Depending on who the information is for, you can create different types of reports. The shooting day and the clips report are the ones you'll probably use the most. The shooting day report offers an overview of what you've worked on throughout the day. It consists of customizable sections, called summaries, that summarize certain library information like video formats, reels, ratings or backups. The clips report consists of a table of clips showing thumbnail and metadata. For the clip table in the report, you can select the layout that you created and customized in the metadata table. Select in addition if you want one thumbnail or three or want to add a report node. Once you start exploring Service Stack, you will come across many other powerful features like for example the export of stills, preparing metadata for third-party applications, SDI out, or also bringing your production library to the cloud via ShotHub. But for the basics, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.